how do you become an influence we want to focus tonight on understanding the secret to influencing your world and sometimes people think oh you're a special person that's why that's not true I believe there is what I call a divine imperative write it down here it is every human being was created by God to be an influence on earth every human being most of them die and never influence their neighborhood influence means that your life has so much dominion that even death can destroy it like Martin Luther King and we confuse influence with popularity influential people are not necessarily popular they are impactful Jesus Christ was not popular but we can't get rid of him he was influential I put it to you then that we have to learn what is influence here is a statement made by Jesus Christ concerning you and me who are in the kingdom concerning influence he said these words in Matthew 13 verse 33 he told them another parable it says and here's the parable he says the kingdom of heaven is like yeast and it worked its way into the dough until all of the lump was full of yeast this statement is about influence that was influence God sent you to earth to be an influence just like yeast influences dough. You were not born just to exist. You were born to make a difference and born to make an impact. And I am convinced that God has had it up to here with people just treading water. God is saying, I want you to be an impact, an influence in the earth. Become specialized. The angel said this about Jesus. His name shall be called Jesus. Watch the specialization. For he will only have one job. I'm going to name him what his job is. He will save people. So that's all he wants to do. It's specialized in salvation. You know, that's why Christ is so successful. He stayed with his focus. Write this down. You were created with the seed of influence on the inside. That's the good news. Tell your neighbor, you got it. Come on, say it with your mouth. I got it. I had to believe this. Say it again. I got it. Oh, I can tell you. The seed is in you. You will never get your greatness from education. Education cannot give you a seed. Education can only refine the seed you have. That's why it's important to know your seed so you can take the right education. Your seed is in you. Oh, I tell you this, everyone in this room was born with a seed. I know some of you don't believe that. That's why I got to prove this. Trees never take their fruit to the market. <laughs> hear me? Oh, hear me? I have never seen a mango tree run you down to give you mango. Very important. The mango seed simply brings forth. Here's the secret. And the market comes to the tree. Write this down, please. Refine your fruit, and then they'll find you. If you're going to influence, the peace of the world is supposed to influence. This is the way you do it. You gotta find your gift, refine your gift, and they'll come and find you. Let me tell you something, friends. Please die after you are known for something. What are you known for? Is the question. I'm gonna say it again. What are you known for? What are you known for? Work on something so hard in 208 that it becomes your name.
So I challenge you to organize yourself, prioritize your life, and then discipline your life. And that's what we need to do.